Hey, what's up guys? This is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. That I'm gonna analyze the latest trailer, the first trailer of the Godzilla vs Kong. As we all know, what's up? We, I love Kaiju and I love giant robots. So, let's begin. First, let's have a re-look at the trailer and then I'm gonna analyze it for you guys. So, the trailer begins with the scene of some characters saying it is our only chance. And at that first scene, if you notice this, this giant Kaiju rising with some red on the chest section I guess this is this might be Mecha Godzilla and this is might be the minutes of the film the reason why that I'm gonna analyze later so that the next scenes we have people shipping Kong across it and I guess that they did this to make Kong appear and fight in this case Godzilla obviously and the reason for this is that all the other Titans have been kneeling to Godzilla as we have last scene in King of the Monster, so like no one can oppose it but then we have Kong who just stays in Skull Island and then they have to drug him and then board him on the ship and then we have Kong lying around the point is that the world needs him to stop what is coming so what is coming actually? this is quite interesting over here so I'm gonna talk about this in all the other seconds later so there's this girl who can communicate with Kong. We've seen this before, okay? So back in the old Godzilla movies, there's actually people who can telepathically communicate and control Kaiju, or in this case, Titan. So this child might be one of those people. They are like, they are specially connected. And apparently Monarch took her in because she has nowhere to go, but we all know that it is the one of the reasons is for to have them controlling Kong. And of course, now here we have Godzilla coming and suddenly he's attacking people in order to fight what it looks like Kong, like he's coming for Kong. And here we go, it's Godzilla. And this is the bunch of screen. Obviously, Godzilla is desperately trying to reach Kong to annihilate him. And ooh, damn, that was a punch. And uh, this is quite interesting here. Here we have Oguri Shun as Ren Serizawa. So this is the character that is the son of Serizawa from the last movie and the screen behind him is actually the screen of Mecha Godzilla. So this is quite interesting over here. So this confirms that the red kaiju we seen earlier is actually Mecha Godzilla and then we have Godzilla attacking the city and this is quite interesting. Uh, in this whole thing we see the lines of Godzilla and then we have some notes Apex and Apex. So what is Apex actually? We have I guess this is a name of some other company and we have Godzilla plus Apex here so I guess this is the thing is that Godzilla is swimming around the world looking for something and we just don't know yet and then Kong here so this confirmed there was a war and this is Kong's axe and here's Kong fighting to Warbat or uh, no as Nozuki this is on Skull Island obviously and they're the last one standing and this is a bunch of fight and Kong I'm just gonna remind you that please don't be like some Australian actors please aim for the head or else so that is the whole trailer so what do we learn we learned that Kong is fighting Godzilla that is obviously the reason but here's my theory for that we all know that the last movie villain Alan Jonah is still out there that is the guy who tried to stole the Oka I guess I don't remember the thing that control Kaiju at the end credit scenes it seems like he's purchasing Ghidorah's head, the one head that got blown off in the ocean. So my theory is this, he's building Mecha King Ghidorah. We know that character does exist and he's building it. And so Godzilla sends the presence of King Ghidorah and he knows that the humans are building a Mecha version of him. So he's swimming around the world looking for it and hope to destroy it. And the monarch is building Mecha Godzilla to prevent it. And that is why we see the rise of it. And we see the line that Kong is our only option to prevent what is coming. I guess at, at that point the movie Monarch doesn't know of the Ghidorah's head presence so they are building Mecha Godzilla because the thing is that I know that Ren Serizawa is Serizawa's son does he hate Godzilla? we don't know but we know that he's involving with this whole Mecha Godzilla project and so Kong is fighting Godzilla and it is just the plot and it might be that they're using Mecha Godzilla as the last line of defense or even the appearance of King Ghidorah at the end of the movie as the next scene for the next one I know but that sums up my theory and so of course we have still have one more month to see what is coming with the whole Godzilla vs Kong thing but I really look I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you do as well so tell me what you think of this trailer 
and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram and that will be it for today guys countdown out <laughs>